Hi, this is Wally from Supreme Gecko, and I'm putting away some shirts. Today, we're going to talk about something that I needed for the videos and for me for a long time, and that's a studio or an office. So join me and we'll see how this office is set up. So about two months ago, we started uh, redoing this whole room. It used to be my middle son's room, his bedroom, and it was a disaster. It wasn't that bad, but Nanette, how bad was it? The colors were horrible. The colors were horrible. What colors were they? They were teal, gray, and black on the walls. And dark. Dark. Dark, dark. Three and coats of paint to cover. Three coats of paint. So it's a smaller room, but it's going to be perfect for this office. And the whole intent of having an office is somewhere where I can put the computer and leave it. This is a laptop, but about two years ago, I had an accident where I was carrying it on top of a laundry basket and, and at the top of the stairs, everything slipped. And the one thing that fell wasn't the, the soft clothes, but it was the last laptop as it bounced down the stairs. I thought it was destroyed, but it has a couple of little marks on it, but it's fine. Anyways, uh, we don't really move this laptop around that much. It kind of stays immobile and it's going to stay right here. So I've got a small table. I don't need anything major here. I'm going to talk a little bit about the room and some of the purpose of having an office or a studio. I call it studio because we'll be doing a lot of YouTube videos in here. I call it an office because we'll be set up more to work on social media and other things that I need to do um, up here. But I'm also going to, in my, and I'll talk about the plans of this room a little bit later, I also want it as kind of an animal room where I have a, an enclosure for, I don't, I don't even know right now, uh, dark frogs or, or geckos. And I plan on eventually having an area right here where I can put up maybe about 10 fish tanks. I used to be into fish. This is probably 30 or 25 years ago. I used to keep fish, a lot of tropical fish, uh, killifish, um, Afri African cichlids, um, South American cichlids, live bearers, Corydoras, a lot of just different weird fish. And I had probably about 120 tanks, somewhere around there, up to 125 gallons, but a lot of smaller tanks. And it worked out really, really well, but I just want something small right now. Like I say that I'm going to go with 10 tanks and it won't grow from there. I hope it doesn't. And that's looking at me it like won't. It, it better not. So my thought is maybe, maybe three or four tens, maybe then five or six fives, and then maybe five or six, two and a half gallons, something like that. But that's going to be my little fish room and I'll probably keep killy fish um, maybe some, some small cichlids like shell dwellers, um, just something to play around with. If you have suggestions for the fish that I should put in there, leave a comment below. So that's going to be my fish room. And again, we have a lot of, a lot of work to do on this room still. Um, let me start over here. This is our closet. Um, this, you know, I've got some shirts in here. This is where I'll keep all of the, the gecko isopod shirts. Um, I have my Supreme isopod, or my supreme gecko uh, coat. It's about time for a new coat. We've had that for probably 12 years, 15 years. If you're a vendor, if you're a breeder, and you have a shirt that you want me to wear on this channel, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'd uh, greatly appreciate that. So this is just big enough to put our supplies, a lot of camera gear. I've got the bag for uh, my lenses, my, my camera. Um, oh, I forgot, I, we needed uh, toilet paper upstairs. So I brought up a roll of toilet paper. Thank you. So we have tripods. I'll talk about that in just, just a tiny bit here, but you know, I had a tripod years ago that you could barely even pick up. And I got this about three or four years ago. It has a little bit of weight, but it's very manageable. And just recently, I picked this up. This is, um, and I'll leave a, a link in the uh, descriptions. This is Tech Life. And 
I tell you, it is so mobile. And that's what I need here because we have the second story where I've got a, a tank and I do some filming and certainly we'll do some filming in here. But we also have the main floor where we just did a re-decoration, uh, renovation uh, to the kitchen and to, what all did we do, Nanette? The foyer, the kitchen, the family room, and the dining room. All of them. And formal living room. Last couple of years we've been working on that. Well, mm -hmm. I say we, but it's pretty yeah. much been, been you doing everything. Yeah. So I do a lot of filming there, um, but... I also do a lot of filming, obviously, in the facility in our basement. So it's back and forth, back and forth. So I wanted something really light. And these tripods are just unbelievable. And I wanted to mention real quick, I'm also using, I'll put a link on this as well. I needed some better lighting. And I didn't have any real good lighting. And a lot of this YouTube stuff is just, you know, try it out, learn as you go kind of stuff. But I got these newer uh, lights. And they're just absolutely outstanding. You can dial them up. They're very, very inexpensive. Just like this little tripod was, I think, $25 or so. But what I'm getting to is this room is going to be set up for, again, social media and YouTube. We'll be doing a lot of YouTube videos in this room. More of the talking head, talking about educational things. But we'll also be having showcases here. So I want to have a, an area where I can put in an enclosure for geckos with three sides. So I can bring up the geckos up to this room. I can take some pictures for our website, but I can also do the YouTube videos as well. So that's the plan to have a little station somewhere with maybe a 10 gallon that's all set up and I can put the gecko in and take some pictures and be done. That way I won't have to take down a lot of the lighting in here and I can have everything set so it's real quick and easy. Um, what else can I tell you about the room? I'm going to come over here and Nanette, if you can get this. Um, this is real special to me. This is um, how many years ago? I don't even know how many years ago we got this. This is from uh, Kelly Hammock, a real good friend, a mentor in the Leopard Gecko community. And uh, it just has a lot of meaning, and, and if Kelly ever watches this video, I, I you know, my heart goes out to you. Um, a lot of meaning to this. Um, speaking of speaking of family and meanings, uh, my son Christopher made this for us when he was in high school, senior, senior in high school. Um, got into the glass cutting and put it together. And I thought it was really really cool. Little leopard gecko. Uh, super hypo tangerine caratail. So he did a good job. Now this room's going to be perfect because again we're on the second second floor and I'm going to get some nice natural sunlight in the room. Um, watch some wildlife as I play on the computer. It'll be perfect. I'll kind of walk around this way. So we have one tank already up here, and this is a 30 gallon, I believe. It's, it's a little, little uh, dirty, I need to clean it up a little bit. But we'll use this kind of as a show tank. Um, I'm not sure what to put in here. If I should put maybe some day geckos or maybe some dart frogs, um, I just don't know. If you have an idea, if you have a suggestion, go ahead and leave it in the comments below and let me know what you think I should put, put in this tank. Um, I have my boom for my mic for recording videos for YouTube. Um, so this is Pachydactylus McLaughlini, a small, I wouldn't even say micro gecko, small African gecko. The babies are just absolutely beautiful animals. Uh, one of my favorite geckos. And over here to the left is um, an isopod, and the name's escaping me, Expanses. Uh, Porcelio expanses. Wow, I lost that. A lot of little uh, springtails. We finally, just the last few weeks, we're starting to get, to get babies from these guys. And the yellows are just unbelievable on these animals. Working our way around, I just wanted a quick mention that I have a little shelf in here and just little knickknacks, little ants, a uh, picture of myself and our granddaughter, Crystal. Uh, we went, when we went to a zoo uh, near Racine, a couple of pictures. I wanted to thank uh, Maverick 
for his pictures that he recently did uh, for me. I did a recent uh, trade with Maverick where he gave me some, or he did some pictures for me. They turned out absolutely perfect. This is obviously one of my favorite isopods, the Parsolio uh, Arnatus High Yellow. Just love the colors, love how he captured the, the uh, isopod. And a couple of little sculptures that a friend did for me recently. And I have my dartboard back there. What I'll do with the dartboard, or the, uh, with the dartboard, what I'll do with the black, the white board, with the white board is... It just blends into the walls, sorry. It does <laughs> blend into the walls. So what I'll do with the white board is just write our shipping information if we have uh, uh, big orders or uh, questions about the orders. I'll uh, put that on, put some video topics on there. If you have, again, if you have uh, suggestions for our videos, Put that down in the comments and I'll add them to the board. It's not going to be my to-do list? Um, no, that, this board is far too small for, <laughs> for your to-do list. Um, so here we have my desk. It's very basic for a reason. Uh, this is only a four foot desk, so I can't pile up a bunch of stuff on it, a bunch of papers and everything. I'll, I'll probably still do that anyways. But it's small, intentionally, so that I can pick it up and move it easily. I don't really like big desks, and when I have big desks, I tend to collect papers, and they just sit in the, the drawers, and they don't go anywhere. So, very, very intentional have a, to have a very cheap, small desk, so that I can put my laptop on it, put a couple of essentials on here, <clears throat> and that's all that gets on this. Um, so again, the whole intent of this room is to get away from doing everything downstairs in the facility um, and moving all the, the uh, photography equipment, the video uh, capture equipment down there and isolate it into one area. And ultimately have a small table where I can do some good photography up here instead of again trying to move all the lighting and everything down into the facility. Um, talked about the the new fish room that's going in over on the side of the fish area, I guess. And uh, I see some some minor changes as we go through here in the room, but I'm I'm kind of liking this. I think this will work out well. What do you think, Nanette? I think it's coming together. We have to get your or your closet organized, though. Have I'll to get the closet organized. I'll take care of that this weekend. I need a, a few drawers so I can put There's some of the miscellaneous. Yes, a shelf in there so I can put a, some um, some of the camera stuff away. I need a bookshelf, so mm -hmm. we'll get a bookshelf set in here. But really, that's that's about it. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for for joining me. If you like this video, hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss another video. And I really had fun showing off our our new room and really look forward to utilizing this a lot in the uh, upcoming months. Thanks for joining us.